All right, we interrupt this broadcast to bring you an emergency technology update for all financial advisors in the world. And if you are thinking about some of the most significant events in human history, like the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, the scientific revolution, the internet, the microchip, going to space, this event that just happened is as big could be bigger. Uh, and it's the AI revolution. AI has been around and now it's here. Functionable AI that can change your practice in an instant has arrived on the scene and it came without notice. It literally came while I was on vacation last week. So me and my boy Will here are going to go through chat GPT and the impact it's going to have on financial advisors. Because think about it. What are the big inventions of, of the world, right? We had the wheel. We had the printing press, the steam engine, the telephone, the airplane, the computer, the, the internet itself, the smartphone. Now you have the capability. Let me put it this way. Imagine you had a very big stadium adjacent to your office. And in that stadium, there were 10,000 research assistants from the best universities on earth. And they're available for you to command them to catch data and bring back accurate and timely and, and informative data that you can use, that you can get in a snap of your finger. Imagine that you had a whole entire team of copywriters, the best copywriters on earth that are available for you to write every single word of copy that you need to run your business. I'm talking your product descriptions, your company profiles, your offers, your landing pages, your websites, all your emails, all your course structure and infrastructure, all your manuals, all your documents, all your agreements, as well as any law firm or any company that you could hire. All of those businesses in the last three weeks have been displaced by this AI. This AI can write music, it can write jokes, it can write puns, it can write rhymes. I used it the other day. Two days ago, I wrote a book in an hour. I wrote a book called The One Hour Book in an Hour. And the one hour book is how to write your first book with ChatGPT in record time. Does that blow your mind or what? No, that is absolutely insane. I think we're definitely living in the future right now. You know, go back 20 years ago. No one would have thought this would happen today. And just like you said, we're, we're, amongst, we're amongst it right now. It's very exciting. So the day after Christmas, I'm laying on a beach in Cozumel with my fiance. Life is good. Keep in mind, I probably spent a half a million dollars in my life learning how to copyright. Because all, all a business is basically, do you have the right words to communicate your offer to your clients so they buy it from you? That's sales copy. Delivering services is a lot easier than attracting a customer. Anybody that's listening to this will agree. And imagine me sitting on a beach and life is good. Had one of the best years I've ever had. And I just found out that nobody needs a copywriter anymore. You don't, you don't need one anymore starting today because the big, the big thing I didn't tell you yet is that the AI is free. It's open source. So you can access it and use it for your business today. I taught an advisor how to use this AI in the morning. By the end of the day, he had his first book published. He did a retirement planning book for firefighters. Did it in one day. He's wow. a published author in a day. So before you go into the ethical and, and the moral argument of whether or not this is right or just, because, well, you're in college, right? So the colleges are having the biggest problem with this, right? 100%, 100%. I actually just saw a school up in New York. They actually banned ChatGPT already, which is crazy to me. They banned, they banned it from the teachers too. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, of, co of course, any, anything fun and useful, New York is going to immediately uh, eliminate. But um, oh, let, me, let, me, let me walk you through the, my thought press uh, on this AI. First of all, it's, it's a form of leverage. And we just did an episode on leveraging people, labor, leveraging technology, and leveraging your money. Right. So writing a book is leverage because you have something that was written with people, technology and money that creates a permanent piece of content that tells your story over and over and over again without you being there. 
So atomic offers, you know, the very definition of an atomic offer is to put some words and images in order so that it sells people on your idea and wins them over without you being there. So I've had people read this book and buy from me without me ever talking to them. They bought a course. Some of them bought my whole program. The process of writing a book, and I'm really fast at it, is months and months. Superhero Self took 18 months to write it and get it published. I didn't get it published until 2019. I started writing it in 2017. So what's the difference? And I'll tell you how I got this book. This book published is I didn't know how to write. I barely knew how to read. I just knew I had a story to share. I wanted to tell people about what happened to me, how I got so sick in spite of having so many advantages, how I took my eye off the ball, how I fell in front of the world down on the ground, became literally a laughing stock, but how I climbed back and how I recreated myself and the process I learned and all the lessons I had that I could give somebody without telling them face to face and spending hours, I could have them read my book. And in a matter of a couple hours without me being there, they could read it. Well, I had to hire a, a, a ghostwriter, which was about 25,000. She interviewed me. I did a lot of research. I did a lot of soul searching. I did recordings and, you know, I came up with a big idea. I came up with a potential audience for my book. I came up with an outline. I curated chapters. And then I started building the content to fill the chapters up and putting the bookends in place, which is the introduction and the conclusion. Hired a cover designer, hired a layout person, hired an illustrator, put it all together, hired a publisher, spent $40,000 publishing this book. With my own money, I self-published. Well, I didn't self-publish. I paid a publisher. That was a big mistake. Wouldn't ever do that again. Uh, but I got it done. And it was important to me, and it's helped a lot of people. I've gotten lots of letters on this. So now that whole process, it took me a year and a half and probably about 60 or 70,000. You can do in a day for under a few hundred bucks. You could become a published author today. You could hire an editor on a freelancer site after your book is done, after you've commanded that AI to do the research, after you commanded the AI writing machine to do the writing, after you commanded the AI to iterate it and improve it, after you ask the AI to give you some stories you can insert into your book, you could have a manuscript that's done in a day. That's pretty The people pretty that get in first. Oh, yeah. So the people that get in first in, in anything... Any household name you see right now, like who's the number one name in podcasting? Joe Rogan. Who is it? Who's the number one name? Who's number one on Instagram? I don't know. Probably Andrew Tate right now, honestly. <laughs> who's number one on Twitter? Elon Musk. Okay. Uh, you know, so I could go on you know, Ty Lopez and who's Gary V. And you think of all the technology, you know, who's number one on TikTok? Well, the people that are number one on all those platforms are usually the people that got in early, got in first. So right now, it's a race to use that AI to effectively bolster your brand, create a message, build out the sales copy that, that supports that message, and then multiply that message through mechanisms of multiplication. So for two days, I didn't sleep well. I really didn't. I couldn't sleep because I, I thought I had to recreate, recreate myself again, which at some level is fun, but it's, it, it makes your brain busy. And then I woke up the next morning, a couple of days later, and I said, wow, my business just became 100 times more valuable. Because the reality is my business has three parts. I help people create a message and articulate that into an offer that's a product and a program that you own, your own unique product. I help you decide on a business model and automate the client attraction process all the way through to conversion, right? So the second, the first segment is message. The second segment is business model. And the third model, I help, I help you use media to get eyeballs on your business, on your offer. So it's message, model, media. 
there's nine blocks in that process, right? The first one is articulating your outcome. You know, what are you doing for someone in, in the form of a transformation? The second one is what's your perfect prospect persona? The third is what's your atomic offer bundle? The fourth one is what's your digital lobby? Like what's your digital lobby? What's your, basically, what's your authority in the eyes of the buyer online? The fifth one is building the appointment machine. So the sixth one is building your conversion scripts so that you can give your process to someone else. Six, seven, and eight are traffic, free, pat, free, free traffic, paid traffic, and repeat traffic. Just different ways to get people to see your stuff. Box one through five, all the way up to authority, can all be done in a matter of minutes rather than weeks and months because you can command that AI on the spot to ask it to do research it could find product opportunities for your services. Wow. You can do so much with it. What are some examples of things you've used it for so far, Will? Man, chat GTP. Um, yeah, well, so far, curious. Said, yeah. So for a couple of podcasts, for instance, I looked up some great copy for a podcast episode that you can put down in the description to make it more intriguing for listeners to want to mm. open it up. That's a good one. I've used mm -hmm. it for some school stuff so far. That's also a good one. Very helpful. Yep. Um, but pretty much those two things right now, like you said, it's very early stages and uh, just got to dive more into it. So I had an event planned in Las Vegas for some speaking speakers. We have a program called Get Ted Ready, which is one of my latest books, How to Get Ready for Your First TED Talk. And we had some people registered. We were going to use a room, a really big room, to do some videos and some props and programs for these speakers uh, my partner and i have the room reserved february 3rd february 4th we just canceled that event and changed it into learn leverage and launch chat gpt in a weekend so if you go to chat gpt in a day.com chat gpt in a day.com you can register for this event it's only 197 bucks for two days and we feed you two lunches so we're not making much money on that at all. We're just there to get a community of people together that want to learn how to use this technology. And the classroom is going to be set up with tables and plugs so you can bring your laptop. And our goal is after day one for everybody in the room, all 186 people, to fully complete their entire sales process from marketing plan all the way through to product, emails, offers, launches, web pages, landing pages. And all the copy that you need to insert that into a marketing mechanism. You'll have it done in a day forever. Day two, we're doing monetization models. So it's incredibly exciting. This is like an emergency pop-up, all hands on deck event that somebody or anybody who has a message really for that matter, this is not restricted to just advisors, although there'll be a ton of them there. Uh, this is for anyone, philosophers, authors, business owners, influencers, subject matter experts. I had a guy who's in my, one of my groups, he's writing a book about how to, how to, how to uh, learn how to do the saxophone. It's called the lazy saxophonist. Really good. Um, pretty powerful stuff that that's, that's coming down our way. Yeah. So we have also, um, you know, this AI can do so much course creation. It can literally write a full entire course for you. That's insane. The power in front of, of your, just awesome. in front of your eyes. Yeah. It's a, like you said, it can one translate. Day, all that. It's a big bang for your buck. One day. One day. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, even no, though good. I'm excited about this AI, I still learn through community learning. I like to be in a social environment when I learn. I like to feed off people. I like to get ideas off them. And the reality is, like, I think I have 200 clients in my group. All 200 clients by the end of the month should have a book. Right now, I'd say maybe two or three do. All 200 will have a book. And a book gives you the most highest level of authority of anything else you could do. You know, the mm. first five letters in the word authority is author. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, you could take, yeah, you can take um you could take this thing as far or as crazy as you'd ever want it to go. 
Um, it can translate into other languages as that's going to become more and more impor important. It does it, by the way, it does it perfectly. It's not like crap, like Siri It's or that other thing. Was it Alexa? It's perfect because it, it's read the entire internet and it collects and captures the data that you ask it to go get and brings it back and organizes it logically. It yeah. thinks logically. It knows sequences. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, microchip moment so to speak yeah i agree it's gonna be interesting too to see how many jobs this ai actually is going to replace in the near coming future i think people are going to be kind of mind blowing all that stuff cars coming out it's never happened before where technology has evolved and jobs went down yeah. It hasn't really happened. Even even when the ATM came and the bank tellers thought they were all be wiped out, it created a higher level of banking product. It gave all the banks the opportunity to to expand their offerings and go into financial services. Yeah. So, like for me, you know, five ninths of my business, if I looked at it one way, would be blown up, and I didn't. I could no longer charge for those services. The reality is, I can charge more for those services now because I can command that AI to create atomic level content instead of just blase content. Cause yeah. you can iterate it and command it. So we've collected about 500 AI prompts so far. Cause this thing just needs prompts, right? Like for example, right. um, if I was, if I had a, a, a sequence of, of writing and I wanted to make it longer, I could say, make this text longer, better, more convincing, right? Um, in the style of insert author, insert writing style, or so a fourth grader could understand it. You can command that text or that AI to do anything like that. You know, write it to be more formal, more persuasive, more casual. It, it, there's no end to it. There's literally no end to what you can do with the AI. I, um, I, I, I don't think I'm even doing it justice yeah it's just it's mind-blowing like you're talking about like you said you just got to go in there and start trying it and just really see what's possible by using it the right way like you like you mentioned a lot of advisors struggle with like how do i use social media social media so it'll create an image i can ask the ai to create it create it create an image it can create the image and then i can ask it to create a caption so i was just playing with it and i did one i said create a caption that describes someone who didn't save enough for retirement. And it said, this is the caption it came up with. It said, if you don't save for a rainy day, you'll be working at Walmart at a rainy day. That's, that's powerful. <laughs> you know, it's pretty politically incorrect, but it was, it was like, wow, it's powerful. It also it names things incredibly. It, it can do headlines. So if you're, it could write you letters, it could do proposals, it could do follow-up. You know, it's and it's and it's growing every day. Right now, it's already smarter than all of us. It's faster than all of us, and it and it's got a degree in everything the university ever offered under the sun. Like it's got every single degree, and it's got a hundred on everything. <laughs> so yeah, these are the these are the things that we're, you know, these are the things we're working with right now. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, definitely futuristic times. I kind of want to, get, want to get your input on this. How do you think that'll affect like the schools, colleges, high schools? Because now, like you said, you don't need to learn this stuff anymore. You can pretty much just find it out, like you said, in a split second. So I'm curious I'm not to see how sure. this will react to this. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can only tell you that a long time ago, when information was available, you had to dig around for it. This just saves me time. I already knew how to do this, right? Yeah. I didn't have the AI, but I knew how to collect information, formulate an idea, what I, what I call hypothesis, and test it against um, the world, right? The Anywhere Advisor was an idea I had that I was testing. You know, can I, can I meet somebody? Can I train them? Can I make them successful? Can I improve their lives, benefit from it financially while they do as well. And they can help someone else, which is a wonderful loop. Can I do that without meeting somebody? That was a hypothesis. Like all of that is already proven to be true. The pandemic accelerated it. The AI is going to 
take it off the table. Like the Anywhere Advisor just became 1,000 times more beneficial, more profitable, more valuable to the consumers. So these are all, you know, these are all things that, that people got to understand. Like this stuff's all on, it's all on. Like it's on like Donkey Kong right now. So <laughs> it's on, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but, um, it, you know, okay. So curating information, that's my point. So what, what does it mean? Do I got to go out and learn everything? Well, there's been people arguing the, is it reasonable for me to have to do line division without a calculator? Right. You got to pass a CFP exam without looking at notes. Maybe they give you a calculator. Like, it, do I have to recall a, a law on the spot, you know, to be a great CFP? Of course, of course not. Do I have right. to know all the, all the things you want me to learn and then write a term paper about it to prove that I know it? Of course not. Can I, you know, can I use the data available and the AI available to improve the lives of another human? That's what colleges should start teaching people. How can I right. make myself and others around me better through this technology without putting everybody out of work and I'm, you know, in a line of hopelessness? I think, and I, and I have like a, you know, you see my dominoes behind me. The big domino is to change the world domino. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest enjoyments I have had since I've been doing this, and I probably helped about 40 people write books, I love helping people write and launch a book. Yeah. It just is a great thing. It's enjoyable. They get a lot of juice out of it. And the challenge with this before was it just took a heck of a lot of time and a ton of people give up in the middle. I yeah. think I can help a million people write a book with the algorithm in the one hour book that I just wrote. The one hour book is how to, how to write your first book in an hour using chat GPT. All you have to do is command the AI to do the research, command the writers to write it correctly, give them a style, give them a good research project, give them excellent commands so they get the right data and put it in the right order. And then ultimately you'll have a manuscript that you can go traditional with at that point. Give it to an editor, give it to a publisher, give it a title, give it a tagline, get it a cover. And all of a sudden, thanks to Amazon now, you're up and in, you're, in, you're on the market. Yeah. My publish my book comes back from my publisher from my editor today at five o'clock. I finished the book Tuesday night in an hour. I gave it to her Tuesday night. She took three days to read the book that I wrote in an hour to edit it. Jeez. <laughs> so she's holding me up. I would already be published. And yeah. and and I didn't trust the AI enough that I would publish it without re you know giving it to an editor because I got I know very poor command of, of punctuations and stuff like that. Just yeah. like I haven't quite yet trusted my Tesla to drive without me looking. Right. It's there. It's, it's proven. It works. They proved it to the government. My car self drives, but I haven't quite tested it yet, but I'm close there. This AI is better than Tesla's self-driving capabilities. It's way bigger than self-driving. It's way bigger. It's going to, it's going to elevate humanity. Yeah. People are going to be able to learn things for free and do things and write and communicate and compete more so than ever before. Right. Yeah. So, and people are already, now, had, yeah. And people are already saying how much information we have at the tip of our fingers with the internet, uh, web browser, all that kind of stuff. But like I said, this just takes it to a whole another level. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like you're talking about the schools, just one more point on that I would just like to bring up is that, like you were mentioning, I think the schools need to integrate it and just teach kids how to use it, how to properly use it. And like you said, because it's happening whether or not they want it to. So if you get kids prepared on how to use it, then you can make jobs out of it that way instead of just turning your blind eye and just saying it's not there. Well, the schools that don't teach it will be competing with the schools that do. Yeah. Because kids do you want to learn half the horse shit you're learning in college right now? Do you feel it's necessary? I mean, you. They make you read a book that has some kind of old point to it that yeah. was written usually, let's face it, with some kind of political slant instead I'm of sure. just getting the ability to, to collect the information I want, organize it in a manner that I want, accomplish a goal that I have for me and my family and my future, and use AI to leverage that. And maybe I want to start a business with it. Maybe I want to start researching. 
maybe I want to write code. You don't, yeah. you don't have to go learn how to write code anymore. You need to command the AI to do the outcome and the function that right. you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. Automating things is it going to be, it. it does everything. Yeah. Exactly. Like you can literally write any code so you can sequence you want, how to trade stocks, how to be profitable, like all that stuff. Like it's crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, chat GPT in a day.com, February 3rd, February 4th, Las Vegas at South Point Hotel, two full days. There's a VIP kit where we're having a special seven figure session on Friday night. Um, when you get there, that's the first night we're going to have a seven figure session. I got people coming in that are taking this thing to ungodly make the hair on the back of your neck stand up levels. Just <laughs> scary. Funny. By the way, they were valued at $30 billion yesterday. Really? Already? <laughs> fastest company to a million fastest company to 10 million. The, the internet is breaking over this. Yeah. Well, I saw they had the most users in the first week or something compared to like um i think it was instagram snapchat like combined which is also crazy yeah they're beating everybody which is awesome so that's yeah. my emergency update for you um if you want to reach out to me it's tmac at terrencemcmahon.com and you got will's email there at the bottom of the screen which is at will holdren on instagram and like i'm telling you it's on it's on right now things are happening right now yeah all right, guys, take advantage of it, and we'll see you at the conference live. We'll also see you guys next week.